皆さんおかえりなさい。というわけで、これからいよいよ本番のレクチャーに入ります。その前に、今日、みんなの、みんなの、なんか AI のことを教えてくださるスタッフと、あと私のことも少し紹介したいと思います。まず、私の名前はお伝えした通り、ななみと言います。私は今シアトルに住んでいて、あの、大学、なんか短大みたいな感じのところに通っています。Hi everyone, my name is Nanami. I live in Seattle and go to a community college here. I really like, like, anime, manga, and movies and music. And also, I'm, like, a, I'm improving my, like, a Minecraft skill. So if you have any tips, please let me know. Because, because my skill is lower than my brother, which is kinda, kinda, kinda not good. Okay, anyways, next I'm gonna introduce Justin! Ooh. Hello, Justin! Hello! Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Yeah,、uh, so I'm Justin.、Uh, I'm from, originally from Toronto, Canada, and now I work as a software engineer at Google in Seattle, USA. And I like video games, playing the drums, and、uh, dancing and watching movies. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to meet everyone here. Oh, thank you, Justin. Justin is going to share. Oh, okay. Next,、um, I'm going to share Greg. Hi, Greg. Hey, everyone. Good to see you all again. I also live in Seattle and work at Google, and I sometimes run into Justin at the office. And <laughs> I also like working on、uh, a Tetris AI that stacks the blocks really well, as well as some other things. I love cats, which is relevant for the activity today, and singing and dance and dumplings and stuff. So, Greg is a very good one. He's 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 a very good one. みんななんかおすすめの餃子があったらぜひ話しかけてみてね。あとジャスティンはこれからあの先生をしてくれます。なんか質問があったらぜひ聞いてみてね。はい、というわけで、次のスライド。あ、uh, okay. uh, sorry, okay. my name is Kenji.、Yeah. Um, today I'll be translating because、uh, Utako cannot make it to the today's meeting. So I'll be translating.、Uh, あ僕の名前はケンジと言います。えっと、今日はあの翻訳をグレグさんとジャスティンが言ってることをちょっとだけ翻訳するので、もう英語が英語がわからなくてもそんなに心配しなくていいです。はい、よろしくお願いします。わあ、とっても楽しいですね、皆さん。というわけで次続けていきましょう。あ、ウェアあ、このマップすごい大好きなんですけど、このマップには今日みんながどこから来てるかが書いてるんだよ。なんかすごいよね。マレーシアとかさ、香港とか、台湾とか、日本はアメリカも、あのー、カリフォルニアとか、ニューヨークとか、いろんなところから来てます。だから、なんか友達がいっぱい作るから。You can make a lot of friends here. Okay. So, next slide is. Oh, yeah. So this is, this, this class, this class is supported by a lot of, lot of people and a lot of companies. So thank you for all to be i n g with us and thank you for everyone to join us. Okay. Next is, yeah, this is, do you know what? This is so cool because they're supporting to like for this class. And then I really appreciate for you and this companies. Okay, so next we're gonna have a lecture with Justin. So, Justin, you wanna go ahead? Cool. So, yeah, thanks everyone for coming today. Today, we're gonna be learning how to create an AI app. And so, you know, have you ever used any AI apps before? AI to this, this to you must... I've used ChatGPT before. Nice. What other AI apps have you used? Any video ones? Sometimes it, might, might not be, sometimes it might not be obvious that an app uses AI. Like Google Maps uses a lot of AI to like, detect traffic and roadblocks and stuff like that. 
グーグルマップとかいっぱい使ってますね。はい。Yeah, I see Alexa, Siri. Have any of you used a, a one of these fun face effects in an, in an app before, like Zoom or Snow or Line? なんかこう顔がこう変わるようなアップを使ったことありますかあのデコデコっていうのかなナナミさんなんていうのかなデコ顔デコデコ<笑>よくわかんない。顔デコ,デコあ、なんかスノーとか、あの、あ、わかりますか、うん、格好ですか格好で、なんか顔を格好するやつ。そうそう、顔をいろいろ変えたり。はい、ね。うんうん。Someone said YouTube recommendation. That's a really good example. I think recommendation algorithms are one of the, the most important for companies these days. The TikTok algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, Instagram, all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for sharing all of those ways that you, you use AI in your day to day.、Uh, so, have you ever wondered how it works under the hood? Do you have to go to the hood? Yeah, so I'll give a sneak peek. Yeah, so I'll give a sneak peek. As to what, what goes on. So, for example, for a video effect like the one you used in Snow or Zoom,、uh, you have your camera input taken from your webcam, and then it's sent over to some code that is running. And then this code will pass it to a machine learning model. And I'll go over what that is in a little bit. And then the model will take that picture and then give back some sort of a、uh, prediction or some sort of a, an output about that picture. So, in this case, it takes the photo of, and finds the person's face and then tells the code where to put the dog effect on them. And then the code will then create that final image with the dog face and then send it back to the user. So that's happening you know, as you're attending a Zoom call or a call with a friend. And this also applies to things like the YouTube algorithm、uh, recommendations, but it's not as obvious because it's all happening behind the scenes when you watch videos and like videos and things like that. Any questions about that? Oh, okay. Let me explain,、uh, translate. So,、uh, この AI とかがやってるその後ろで何が起こってるかっていうことにちょっとジャスティンが説明したんですけどどういうことがやってるかっていうとそのカメラから画像が入ってきてでそれがそのカメラから入ってきた画像がそのコードをあのプログラミングのコードを走らせてそれがあのモデル AI で作ったモデルを参照してそのモデルの中に例えば顔とか手とかそういうのを認識するようなモデルがあってでそれを使ってコードが要するにこの例えばこの、えー、と耳とか、あの耳とか、あの舌とかを出すようにしています。So okay. I asked, or I mentioned, oh, thank you, thank you, Kenji. So I mentioned earlier that there's this machine learning model. So let's go into about what that is. モデルについて話してみましょう。So last, last, <笑> thank you. So last class,、uh, we learned about teachable machine. Which was a nice tool for us to learn about machine learning. And we trained a model together to detect pictures,、uh, whether it's a cat or a dog in a picture. And so this training process happens、uh, with a lot of data, and each your data is organized into a set of classes. So a, one of the classes is a dog, another class is a cat, and then we have a third class, which is other. And then the machine learning model will look at all of these images and, and learn to, differ, to detect each of those、uh, separately. And so when you give it a new image on the right side, then it will be able to predict whether it is a dog or a cat or other. And so this is what we learned last class. I won't go too much into it this class.、Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to write them in the chat right now. 先週やったのは、ティーチングマシン、ティーチャブルマシンという AI のモデル、あのマシンラーニング、つまり機械学習のモデルを使って、それで、えー、とカメラとかモデルを作って、それを実際にやってました。それで新しい、例えば画像が入ってきた猫の写真とか犬の写真とかが
入ってきたときにそれをあのモデルを使って、えー、とあの予想するということをやっています。はい。So the English names for the things that I was talking about: class, data, model, and、uh, prediction. クラスっていうのはこの分類、分類の,あのクラスで、犬と猫とアザーズ、他のっていうのがあって、で、モデルをトレーニングして、で、新しい画像が入ってきたとき、それが猫っていうふうに、この 100% っていうのは、これは猫の写真だから 100% っていうふうに予想することをティーチャブルマシンでやっています。Okay? Thank you. Thank you. So now moving on to an example. Can you guys see、It's、the、hard. video? Yep, it shows. Great. So I'm just going to show a quick video of one way that some people use d machine learning to do something fun. It's this cereal into marshmallows and non marshmallows. There are three main components the singulator, it drops the cereal through one by one, then the decider. Which decides what's a marshmallow and what's not. And finally, this, the tippy thing, which tips things into these bowls and into my mouth. Okay, so how does this thing work? First, let's train the sorter. We use this website called Teachable Machine. Name one class marshmallow and fill it with pictures of marshmallows grabbed right from the camera. Name the other not marshmallows and fill it with all the other stuff. Hit train. Boom, you've made a model. Then download your model and put it onto the coral, where it runs totally offline. Which is why it's super fast. As the marshmallows fall, the computer takes a picture, the coral makes a decision, and the tippy thing puts it into a bowl. All in 0.02 seconds. So, yeah. Any questions about that? わかるかなあのこれはマシュマロソーターというのは分類器って言ってで AI を使ってで例えばあのティジアブルマシンを使ってでマシュマロの写真とマシュマロじゃない写真をいろいろこうティジアブルマシンに教えてでそれを使ってこの、えー、とマシュマロがあったらマシュマロを分類するようにそれ以外のものを別の方に入れたりするようなシステムです。The biggest, the most important part of that system that we're focusing on today is the question of is it a marshmallow or is it not a marshmallow? In this case, there was a lot of other stuff involved, like in terms of physically moving the pieces around. But the question that the AI and the code is trying to answer is looking at a picture and being like, is, a mar- is that a marshmallow? And that's similar to what we're going to be doing with our exercise later. And so, while you can use、uh, machine learning to sort snacks that you like, you can also use it for more important things like helping people with disabilities be able to communicate again. これはあのディサビリティの方を助けるにも AI を使うということはできます。例えばこの写真だと、あの、oh, What is this one doing? Can you explain? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. So、uh, on the left, there's a, a man who has a disease where he talks. He, it's very hard to understand what he is saying. So it's a,、mm-hmm. you know, his mouth is, is different. And、mm-hmm. so for people like him and people who are deaf,、uh, Phones can't understand what they're saying very easily. So, there's a project at Google to train a specific machine learning model for these people with impaired speech. ああ。So, it kind of gives someone a way to say things like,、uh, like respond in conversation, even if they can't speak with their mouth. So, you can use AI to look at their face and like 
classify it into different types of things he might want to say. この右の上の写真、あ、右の上の写真で言うと、この人っていうのはあの口を閉じたときにイエスって言って、開いたときにノーっていうのを伝えるっていうことを AI を使ってやっています。Yeah, that's a great point, Greg.、Uh, thanks for covering that second one. So, today we're going to be building our own machine learning app,、uh, but we'll be doing something a lot more fun. So, we'll be doing a fun video effect today.よし、今日作るアプリっていうのはその犬がやったらその犬を絵文字をこう画面にバーっていっぱいやったりとか猫が出てきたら猫の絵文字をバーンってやってで猫と犬を喜ばせるというようなアプリを使ってみます。So then, how would,、uh, how would you guys create this? You know, I am, does anyone have any ideas how we would make this? どうやって作るかわかりますなんか、えー、チャットに書いてください。え、なんだろうわかるみんな。I have no idea. 何かなチャットに書いてみてね。なんか、どんなアイディアどんなアイディアがあるかなあなんか、みんな賢いね。No idea だね。私も I have no idea なんだけど。Someone in the chat could use Teachable Machine to do it, and I, I think that's a really good idea.、Um, you might actually need two different things to make this work because Teachable Machine can do the part where it tells if there's a cat, and then there's a second part that would have to show the cats on the screen. But that's a really good, that's a really good first answer because that is what we're going to use today. あのこれを作るときに一つの方法というのはそのティーチャブルマシンを使うというのが一つの方法なんですけどティーチャブルマシンだけではダメ,なダメでもう一つその絵文字ティーチャブルマシンというのは絵文字を出せないんでもう一つあの何かプログラムを作ってこの絵文字の写真をいっぱい出せるこの猫の絵文字の写真を出すという部分が必要になります。Teach the computer to recognize the specific animal and then write code to make the emojis appear. And yeah, that's a very, very good guess. And in fact, that is actually what we plan to do today. So we're going to take the picture from the webcam and then pass it. And then our code will take that picture and give it to the model. And we've already trained a machine learning model to detect between a cat and a dog. And then that machine learning model will tell us which, what its prediction is cat or dog or other. And then we will write code to make the correct emoji appear on the screen. あの画面から入ってきたやつをティーチャブルマシンに入れて、そのティーチャブルマシンが犬か猫を判定して、でそれで絵文字を出す部分というのはそのコード、要するにプログラミングをやる必要があるということです。To do the coding, we're going to be using something called JavaScript. How many of you know JavaScript? So, the code is JavaScript. It's a code. 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 It's a はい、We're going to be writing JavaScript and we're going to be writing it inside of a tool called Replit. And what Replit lets us do is it lets us write code together in the same page. And we'll be writing JavaScript in Replit and Replit will 
help us run our JavaScript and you'll be able to see your app. So, oh yeah, Kenji, please go ahead. Uh, 今日はあのあ PS.js とかいう方法もあるんですけど、エディターって言って、プログラムをこう、えっと、エディットして走らせるというあものがいるんですけど、今日はリプルイットというのをあのもうすでにアカウントを作ってくれた人もいると思うんですが、リプルイットというのを使います。なんで,で使うかっていうのは、これはすごいのは、TA の人、今日,今日もう最初のブレイクアウト1でいたと思うんですけど、話したと思うんですが、の人と、あ,のあなたたちが同時に一緒にプログラミングをやっていくと。で、何か本当に困ったらすぐ TA の人が助けてくれるっていうのがすごいリプリットです。はい。それで、あのショーブレイクアウトルームに行ってまた分からなかったら聞いてください。Yeah. And、uh, it's okay if you don't know、uh, JavaScript. We'll... There's an activity for everyone to do, and、uh, we'll have an activity for those that can't do JavaScript as well as one. I would like to write some JavaScript and change the app. So I'll just go ahead and share the, the code and give you a little bit of an idea of how we're able to create this cat. Now, Justin is going to demo it and do the program. All right, so you can see the.、Um, The, the replit now. So let me get a picture. So here's, so right now, this is, a, this is my face. And then it's right now predicting that I am, it's not, it's predicting that I am a cat with, you know, around 70% cat. <laughs> you might be a cat. cat. I, I, that's what the AI says. I think it's correct. Yeah. <laughs> But if I hold up a picture of a dog, Like、this is my friend's dog, and you can see it's、uh, almost a little out of focus. It still thinks it's a cat. <laughs> a Shiba Inu is kind of like a cat in a way. Shiba Inu is 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 a cat in a way. And then this one is,、uh, this one is more is a clearly a, a cat. You can see what、it's, it helps if it's in focus. So you can see now、uh, it's mostly, mostly thinking about it as a cat. And you can see the, this prediction number. If it's very confident, it'll go closer to one.、Uh, right now, you can see it's 0.8 or 0.7. So a one is the highest prediction, and then a zero is the lowest prediction. あのその下にあった番号、そのキャット、あのジャスティンの写真の下にある番号というのは、これは、What's the name of this number? Prediction? Or... Yeah, you can say it's a, a confidence. あ、コンフィデンス。あ、自信。コンフィデンスっていうのは英語で自信っていうことで。で、で、この数字が1の場合は猫っていうのは猫ですね。で、ゼロになるとあのあの自信がなくなるという感じです。はい。はい。It's sort of like the equivalent of you ask your friend, how sure are you? I'm 80% sure. Sure. Or I'm 20% sure. Sure. That's basically the equivalent. If the AI puts out 0.9, saying it's I'm 90% sure that it's this. And if it puts out 0.1, then it's I'm 10% sure. I know, sure, do you know, 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 do you 10% っていうのが出てきますよね。それと全く同じことです。はい。Yeah, I can go ahead and, and go over some of the important parts of the code that helps this app work. Does that sound good? 今から一番大事なところを説明します、ジャスティンが。はい。Okay. So there is a function here called setup. This is the name of the function. And this setup function is what gets run at the beginning when we first start the app. So we'll skip some of these parts here. But what this part is doing is it's creating the video, you know, my, my video on the screen. So that's why I can see myself and you guys can see me on the page. So, the setup is the video of Justin. I'm going to show you the video of Justin. I'm going to show you the video of Justin. I'm going to show you the video of Justin. I'm going to show you the video of Justin.
The second part is it will then start classifying. So it will run this classify video function. So let me go to that function and we can see what it does. So that function is right here and it will call classifier.classify and it will give the video of my, of my webcam. And then after it classifies using this image, it will run this dot result function. So it takes the video as the input and then it will output it to this dot result function. あのクラッシュファイヤーっていうのは要するに分類するもので、その分類したそのさっき言ったビデオを入力として分類をしてで、あの結果を得るというのがゴッドリザルトというやつです。はい。で、ゴッドリザルトというのを見ていきます。Thank you. And so once the machine learning model has, has、uh, classified the picture, the Sure. So it looks like we have this got result function that is going to look at all of the different predictions the AI model made. And each one has a text, a text label, label and the, and the percent, percent. So the so label, the label would be on the chat, chat and the and comp, the comp would, be would be like 20%, like percent, percent, eight. And then we have then this. We have this That says, that says if the label, label is cat, is cat, we say we cat emoji. Cat emoji. If the label is dog, we show the dog emoji. Get the result. So, the answer to the question is, what is the answer to the question? So, the teaching machine is the one that is used to be 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 あ 10% 雨が降るかというのがコンフィデンス、その自信なんですが、それが例えば、えー、と 0.9%、90% だったら、キャットをの絵文字をバーンと出すと。で、それが犬のやつがあの 90% 以上だったら、ドッグの絵文字を出す。スポーン、スポーンというのは作るという意味なんですけど、そのドッグの絵文字をいっぱい出すということです。Um, but right now, so we're looking at the spawn image. And so this is the part of the JavaScript code that creates an emoji. So we can、um, make an image, we set its size, and then、um, when we spawn the cat, we specify what image should go into the,、uh, what picture should go into the image object. So the image object that you know, it's the first one, the cat emoji, the cat, the neck emoji, and the cat emoji. えー、とそのイメージというオブジェクトというか、まあ、そのイメージに入れているというのがそこでやっています。そのキャット・ドプッシュというのがそのをやっています。で、同じように犬も全く同じようなことができます。ちょっと難しいかもしれないけど、あの分かってほしいのはその最初の「can move up」just, just in, can move up、この絵文字を変えることによって自分の好きなえー、と絵文字を作ることもで例えばキャット絵文字に例えばタートルの亀の絵文字とか入れると亀の絵がバッと出てきたりとかそういうことが楽しんできます。はい、the last thing to talk about is、um, there's, there's more code at the bottom that's like getting into the, into the weeds of exactly how it's implemented but the main things to look at are at the top we can see the two emojis there and then we also see the image model URL So, we have a pre made model for dogs and cats that we've been working with. But the activity that we're going to be doing today is for both of us, for all of us to make our own models. And then we can、uh, take the model's URL and we put it into the code. And that way, that the code knows to look at that particular model that we've made as opposed to this default cat dog model. あの本当にまあ難しいんで、本当に分かんない人っていうのは、この3つのことだけ、この産業、最初の産業だけを覚えていってください。で、最初のこのイメージモデル URL っていうのは、これはティーチャブルマシーンでトレーンした、あの、したものをここに入れることによって、その、そのもってトレーンしたモデルを使うっていうことを、ここで URL で使います。あの、難しいと思うんで、えっ、ー、と、あの、TA の方が、ブレイクアウトルームで、あ説明してくれます、まあ、もちろん、えっと
これは、えー、ともう僕たちが作ったモデルを使ってるんでよ,よかったらブレイクアウトルームで自分のモデルを使ってこの URL を変更してで自分のモデルを使って同じプログラムを実行しようっていうのが、えー、とブレイクアウトでやることです。あともう一つはこの絵文字をさっき言ったように絵文字を変えることによってあのどんな風に変わるかっていうのを試してみるリプリットを使って試してみるということです。And so, as we're looking over this code, obviously there's a lot of code here. I wouldn't expect anyone in this call to be able to write something like this from scratch. And it would take me a decent amount of time to make this from scratch. But for those of you who are more comfortable with JavaScript, it might be the kind of thing that you can maybe tweak it a little bit. Like we could, we're all going to try changing the emoji and changing the URL. Maybe for those advanced ones, you could try adding a, a third type of emoji. But if you're overwhelmed by the JavaScript or haven't seen the JavaScript before, it will all work without touching it, and you can just change the little things at the top. It's more of a, an advanced exercise to try to actually change the JavaScript. JavaScript is a very good thing. I think it's 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 a very Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay.、Uh, yeah. So I think we're a little over time. So we can go and start the breakout rooms.、Um, if you are interested in training your own model and you want to use it in this code,、uh, let me. Yeah. Here's like a, a project to train a model. And then it is currently training. Although it's a little slow. Oh, there we go. Okay. So once this is done training, you can see here there's a blue export model button. Training is over. The screen 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 is over. And so once you click the export model button, then it will give you a link. Uh, to, or it says here, upload. You can upload a shareable link. So you have to click this upload my model button. Upload my model to your button. Click it. Yes. So you can upload a shareable link. 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 So you can see that my Shareable link is ready here. It has a like some some funny symbols here. And then you can just use this link right here.、Uh, you can copy it using this copy button or select it and copy it and use it right in the so, code. So, no, upload my、uh, cloud model to you know, it's called to some URL to you know, they can do so no, me, no, 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 And so now, here, all right, let me just demonstrate. So now I'm going to replace it. So now this is my new model. And、uh, I will need to change the code as well because the code is looking for cat and dog as the class label. So I'm going to change it. I know Justin got to the model, I know, label got to go in there. カップとアームと。ええ、おす、カップ、アーム、あん。ね、いや、あ、じゃ、あ、じゃ、ユーズカップ、アーム、フォーデス。あ、オッケー、シュー。じゃ、キャット、ドッグを、あの、こう、変えると。it's not super confident about my arm, but <laughs> yeah, this model is not necessarily a very good one. but you can see it's saying <laughs> arm and neither. let me see if I get something red. I think it'll think it's the cup. カップと、あの、腕、アームというのは腕なんですけど。Uh... <laughs> it does go to show. I think a lot of people think AI just like magically works on your first try, but every、yeah. good AI you've ever seen, they've been trying for years. They try one thing, it doesn't quite work, and then they get some more data and they get some different data. And it doesn't just magically like you click one button and it all works. Well, sometimes with Teachable Machine it does, but in the real world, you'll often run into issues where the AI doesn't do what you expect it to. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> but you yeah, can, that, that's how that... you would use a new model. Yeah. So let's go into breakout rooms then. Oh, yeah.
Okay, everyone, are you ready for coding? It's kind of cool. Right? Since I can't go to the break room, let me teach, let you teach me the coding that you learn later. Okay, so enjoy. みんな楽しんでね。なんか後で教えて。あの、なんか私、行けないから、後で教えてね。クラスでもみんなこと。はい、ありがとう。ありがとう。